Okay, hey everyone. Good day to you all. <clears throat> God bless you and welcome to this family Bible study. <clears throat> now we're going to be picking it up with chapter 6 of the book of Leviticus today. Um, in the first seven verses, uh, it would make more sense if these seven verses belong to chapter 5, but, but they don't. They belong to chapter 6, but they're going to be concerning... The trespass offering which we ended with in chapter 5 but anyway so be it it's part of chapter 6 and so that's how we'll read it and then we're also going to be covering the law of the burnt offering the law of the meal offering and the law of the sin offering so with that said we're going to get right into it let's go to our father in prayer father I pray that you open eyes Open ears this day, and let us receive the wisdom that you would have us receive from your word. So, let's get right into it, everyone. The book of Leviticus, chapter 6, <clears throat> verse 1, and it reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, verse 2, <clears throat> If a soul, this is nefesh, this means a person, sin, and commit a trespass against the Lord, and lie unto his neighbor in that which was delivered to him to keep, this being like a deposit or, or a pledge, or in fellowship, <clears throat> this means uh, like, like a pledge, or in a thing taken away by violence, that means robbery, or hath deceived his neighbor, means defrauded his neighbor. <clears throat> Verse 3. Or have found that which was lost, and lieth concerning it, and sweareth falsely, in any of all these that a man doeth, sinning therein. 4. Then it shall be, because he hath sinned, and is guilty, that he shall restore, or return, that which he took violently away, which he which he robbed, or the thing which he hath deceitfully gotten, or that which was delivered to him to keep, or the lost thing which he found. Verse 5. Or all that about which he hath sworn falsely, he shall even restore it in the principle, and shall add the fifth part more thereto. That means add 20%. And give it unto him to whom it appertaineth in the day of his trespass offering. That means when he goes to make his trespass offering. Verse 6. And he shall bring his trespass offering unto the Lord. A ram without blemish out of the flock. That means perfect, without spot. With thy estimation for a trespass offering unto the priest. And again, you can read about uh, these estimations or values in chapter 27 of this book of Leviticus. <clears throat> 20, or excuse me, verse 7. And the priest shall make an atonement for him before the Lord, and it shall be forgiven him for anything of all that he hath done in trespassing therein. Verse 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, This is going to be beginning the law of the burnt offering. <clears throat> 9. Command Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. It is the burnt offering because of the burning upon the altar all night unto the morning, and the fire of the altar shall be burning in it. This means... Uh, kept burning verse 10 and the priest shall put on his linen garment and his linen breeches shall he put on his flesh and take up the ashes which the fire hath consumed with the burnt offering on the altar and he shall put them beside the altar 11 and he shall put off his garments and put on other garments and carry forth the ashes without the camp 
unto a clean place. This means outside of the camp. 12. And the fire upon the altar shall be burning in it. It shall not be put out. Excuse me. And the priest <clears throat> shall burn wood on it every morning. And lay the burnt offering in order upon it. And he shall burn thereon the fat of the peace offerings. 13. The fire shall be ever burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. And, you know, of course, our God, he is a consuming fire. Uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 29. And uh, we'll document that. And our Heavenly Father, he is forevermore. He, 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 had, he had no beginning and he will have no end. He just is. 14. And this is the law of the meat offering or the meal offering. The sons of Aaron shall offer it before the Lord, before the altar. 15. And he shall take of it his handful of the flour of the meat offering. And of the oil thereof, olive oil, and all the frankincense which is upon the meat offering, and shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor, even the memorial of it, or the memorial portion, unto the Lord. 16. And the remainder thereof shall Aaron and his sons eat. With unleavened bread shall it be eaten. In the holy place, in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall eat it. 17. It shall not be bacon with leaven. I have given it unto them for their portion of my offerings made by fire. It is most holy, as is the sin offering, and as the trespass offering. 18. All the males among the children of Aaron shall eat of it. It shall be a statute forever in your generations concerning the offerings of the Lord made by fire. Everyone that toucheth them shall be holy. 19. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 20. This is the offering of Aaron and of his sons, which they shall offer unto the Lord in the day when he is anointed. Anointed priest. The tenth part of an, ephah, of an ephah of fine flour for a meat offering perpetual, half of it in the morning and half thereof at night. 21. In a pan it shall be made with oil. And when it is bacon, or, or this... This would better read, When it is well kneaded, thou shalt bring it in, and the bacon pieces of the meat offering shalt thou offer for a sweet savor unto the Lord, or a pleasant aroma, a savor of satisfaction. 22. And the priest of his sons, of Aaron's sons, that is anointed in his stead, shall offer it. It is a statute forever unto the Lord. It shall be wholly burnt, or completely burnt, because the priest that offered, uh, offered it would not eat of his own offering. 23. For every meat offering for the priest shall be wholly burnt, it shall not be eaten. And again, that's because the priest would not eat of his own offering, uh, only if it was an offering uh, made by someone else. <clears throat> 24. <clears throat> and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 25, Speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying, This is the law of the sin offering. In the place where the burnt offering is killed, shall the sin offering be killed before the Lord. It is most holy. And this would be on the, on the north side, or the, the side northward of the altar of burnt offerings. 26. The priest and Leviticus chapter 1 verse 11 will document that. 26. The priest that offer it, offereth it for sin shall eat it. In the place, in the holy place shall it be eaten, 
in the court of the tabernacle of the congregation. 27. Whatsoever shall touch the flesh thereof shall be holy. And when there is sprinkled of the blood thereof upon any garment, thou shalt wash that whereon it was sprinkled in the holy place. 28. But the earthen vessels wherein it is sodden, or where it, wherein it is boiled or cooked, shall be broken. And if it be sodden in a brazen pot, or in a, in a bronze pot, it shall be both scoured, this means um, polished, and rinsed with wa rinsed in water. 29. All the males among the priest, or every male among the priest, shall eat thereof, it is most holy. Verse 30. And no sin offering where whereof any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle of the congregation to reconcile with all, this means to uh, atone or cover, <clears throat> in the holy place shall be eaten. It shall be burnt in the fire. And that's going to conclude chapter 6 of the book of Leviticus and our Bible study today. Uh, I love you all because y'all love studying God's word with me chapter by chapter and verse by verse. More importantly, God loves you for it. When he looks down and he sees you reading the letter that he wrote to you and studying it and trying to gain that wisdom that he has given us and to seek knowledge uh, of that he would give and learn the plan of the day and learn the good news to be able to share with these people who are lost in darkness in this world today. Uh, it seems as if the world is getting uh, fairly wicked uh, in this final generation. And that deception is coming upon this world uh, sooner than later. And the way that you prepare for that, of course the deception being Satan and his fallen angels uh, coming to this earth uh, whenever Michael will cast Satan to the earth with his fallen angels for Satan to pretend to be God and if you haven't read God's Word and you haven't studied and you don't know better um, you're probably going to be deceived and you're probably going to worship Satan thinking that he is Christ and that's gonna be a sad day uh, whenever a lot of these these you know supposedly really good Christians that think that they're serving God and and worshiping Christ whenever Satan shows up pretending to be Christ whenever they realize you know when the true Christ feet hit the ground at the seventh trump and whenever these people realize what they've done um, the shame that that is going to come upon them is going to be just probably unbearable and in something that a, a situation that you just don't want yourself to be caught in and so that that's our mission as Christians you know, in these end times is to try to, to to get that truth out and allow the Word of God to pull people out of that deception and bring them unto repentance and unto eternal life and unto a fruitful fruitful life that whereby their family can be blessed and, and they can be blessed and they can be afforded that protection that our Heavenly Father provides because, you know, Believe it or not, he's real, and he's there, he's watching, and he knows what's going on, and he knows uh, which children love him and which children could care less. And those that love him and study his word, um, he keeps a special watch over them, and uh, of course, you know, he's not a respecter of persons, but it's just a fact. If you If you love God, and you serve him and you you're you're trying to do his will and, and doing your best you can to um, walk in his commandments of course we're not all perfect it, it gets his attention and he doesn't show partiality but obviously the children that 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 love you are going to receive your blessings and the children that don't care anything about you are going to receive your cursings and so that's just how he operates so Study his word, 
and whereby you can show yourself approved and pass that uh, word of God and that good news on to everyone in this uh, generation of, of wickedness that, that really needs it uh, to bring them out of that deception and to uh, pull their souls uh, from possibly going going to hell you know because without the word of God and without the truth uh, that's where that's where people march towards it is is that lake of fire <clears throat> and we want to pull them out or allow the word of God to pull them out so that's why we, we do what we do and study God's word and share God's word uh, because it, it can do the healing the, the guiding the correcting I mean the word of God it can accomplish anything and and without it we are nothing so praise God that he's he wrote us this letter and you know affords us the time and the opportunity even if it's just a little bit of, of time a day to be able to study his word and seek his his face and uh, try to understand uh, his plan a little better so love you guys and gals don't miss the next lecture thanks for watching